These men are, believe it or not, scientists. And with man bent on the exploration of distant planets and trying to solve the riddle of the universe, it comes perhaps as a surprise to find a line of research that is much closer to home, and to many people, much more attractive than distant worlds. We refer to that tasty companion of bread and cheese, the pickled onion. Here, at the British Food Manufacturing Industries Research Association at Leatherhead, Surrey, the search for the perfect pickling onion is just one of the many aspects of research carried out by this independent organisation. The onions, grown in trial plots of ground in different parts of the country and already examined by experts, are whirled round in a novel peeling machine which does away with the tears usually associated with this task. The reason for this research is a matter of national prestige for nearly all the best pickling onions come from abroad, mainly Holland and Egypt. Why, pray, shouldn't the cold roast beef of old England be served with English pickled onions? The peeled onions are first steeped in brine for a few days before being washed in cold water. The demand these days is for a mild flavour, and this is achieved by using a milder vinegar, which unfortunately does not contain quite enough acetic acid to destroy all the bacteria and moulds present. The ingenious answer, thought out by research chemist John C. Dakin, is to destroy the remainder by pasteurising them in hot water, but not hot enough to make the onions soggy. The onion liquor is tested by steam distillation for acetic acid content. Although this research may not seem to be of world-shaking importance, it is as well to remember that the scientists engaged in it have a truly breathtaking responsibility to the public. Here, samples which have previously been infected with bacteria are tested to see that the pasteurization has been effective. Statistical analysis is important, but the final word lies with the tasting panel who are breathing full blast down the neck, do you mind, of a problem of importance to farmers, manufacturers and, of course, the notoriously fickle, pickle-fancying public.